Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I'm gonna show you why I pick 16FH77A microcontroller. Why I keep making lectures and tutorials on pick 16FH77A. I don't get any commission from the microchip or anything, but why? And secondly, there are a lot of other options available in the market like STM32, Nord, MCU. And then we also have Raspberry Pi Pico, a very powerful dual core microprocessor available and there are various other options available as well. So why I go for the PIC 16 fa 77 a So first thing is I want to cover all the microcontroller and the first one is a PIC. Second thing is this microcontroller is something called industrial grade. Let me show you how. So we continue. This over here is our PIC 16 fa 77 a microcontroller having 40 pins. It's a DIP version. It is also available in the SMD version as well. Now, first of all, before we continue, let me introduce your, you to this name called PIC16F877A. Here the word PIC, P-I-C, stands for Peripheral Interface Controller. Now, the word peripheral is of importance here. In computer, peripheral means the keyboard, mouse, speaker, etc. So, in case of a microcontroller, they will be the same. Like, you can interface a keypad, you can interface a camera, you can interface anything using the ports available on this microcontroller. And the important ports are all the available in this microcontroller. Now the next thing is this letter called F. Now what is F? F stands for flash. Like you use a picket 3, this is a flash way of burning a microcontroller. But if you use a serial port, that's a serial way. So picket 3 and other devices allows you to burn a microcontroller using flash and flash is very fast. Unlike many other microcontrollers, it offers you flash using a picket. And a picket 3 is a one-time purchase and uh, it works on like all the microcontrollers available for the uh, microchip, this PIC series. So you don't have to buy it again and again. Only one is required. No, and the third one is this letter called A. And this letter A is very unique. It stands for advanced. Nearly microchip have many microcontrollers in the market which are expensive than this, but they don't have this letter called A in them. For example, PIC16 F887. They don't have letter A. When you burn it, you will see that it gets burned very slowly. As compared to that, if you burn this microcontroller, it will burn very quickly because it's, it have an advanced architecture. So this, this A means. So it means that this cheap microcontroller is even way better than its new versions as well because it's an advanced architecture. Now the next thing is, let's go to the internet, see the live. Right now the date is Sunday 16th March 2025. As of today, I will tell you something. So this over here is our data sheet for the PIC16 f 7 a Why I opened it, I want to show you some things over here. Now see, first of all, it's a high performer RISC CPU. And then the maximum clock is 20 megahertz and 200 nanosecond is a cycle. For a cheap microcontroller, this is huge. These specs are huge for a cheap microcontroller. You have 8K of programming memory, flash program memory, which is huge. You can like connect various sensor or module, like you can even connect a fingerprint module as well. You can do a huge amount of programming in this small microcontroller, which is very cheap. It's cheap, but it's not small. It's a very powerful microcontroller. Now you have a timer 0, 8-bit, timer 1. Then you also have timer 2, 8-bit. You have two PWM pins, which are very crucial. And these PWM pins are 16-bit. They are very powerful PWMs, 12.5 nanosecond. So maximum resolution is 10-bit. Now, the next thing is the synchronous SPI, UART, PSP, brownout detection. These are the basic features which every microcontroller needs and this have all of them. Then you have 10 ADC channels of 10 bit each. Oh, okay, it says 8, 8, sorry, not 10, they are 8 channels of 10 bit each. Uh, but they are 9 if you count them, but I don't know, uh, one is like uh, reference. But you have 8 confirmed channels. Now, the next thing is you also have the comparators option as well. Now, special microcontroller features like it's a, now this is the main thing why I prefer PIC16 FA77A over other microcontrollers. Because it's an industrial grade microcontroller. I understand it's hard to program, but once you program something using it and deploy it in the industry, you will never get disappointed because PIC has very powerful and rugged hardware, which Arduino and STM32, etc. don't have. So you have this, this like one lakh time it's raisable. Okay, we agree, others may have it. Then you have EEP ROM memory. 
data retention that is very critical feature that it can retain data for more than 40 years like the program you burn it will not go away over 40 years then uh, the software icsp th then then there is the feature like it is operatable from 2 to 5.5 volt another important feature i could not find here is the operating temperature ranges that it operates at huge ranges okay let's check okay i may use the control f temperature okay now take a look here commercial and industrial temperature ranges now it can operate usually from minus 40 to up to 125 degrees centigrade I have tested it myself and it have no problem at all while the Arduino and other microcontrollers are not that good at these ranges. So that is why I prefer the PIC16 FA77A over other microcontrollers. See, now there it is, that's what I was, ambient temperature under bias, bias. now take a look here. It's, it is from minus 55 to 125 degrees centigrade. This, this much ruggedness you do not get in other microcontrollers. This is a military grade standard. It's like mill standard 883B. It satisfies the military standard 883B. So you can even use this microcontroller in your military application as well. Now, after having these much features, what is the cost of it? Now take a look at this DG key. In the DG key, it says it is $6 only, $6.8 only while its counterpart having the same specs will not be the same. See, now we go to other websites as well, like AliExpress, on the AliExpress it is 2.95. You can see that it's very cheap. Now we also go for the eBay, eBay is like 4.83. And then we also go for the, okay. The, the, so I can take the average from all these websites, we go for the DG key. So on the DG key, it is $6.8. So that is very cheap. Now more features, let me show you why further. Now, uh, this over here is our PIC16 FA77A. The most crucial ports which you require for connecting the modern sensor and module are the UART timers, SPI counters, ADC pins, etc. They all are in this microcontroller. Now, let me introduce you to these. Now, here you have total of 40 pins. Out of these, total 5 ports. You, your port A have 6 pins. Here it is. A0, A1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then your port B have 8 pins. This one like B0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Then you have port C, 8 pins, so, uh, there. C0, C1, 2, 3, C4, 5, 6, 7. Then you have port D having 8 pins. D0, D1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then you have port E having 3 pins. E0, E1, 2, 3. Then you have total 33 programmable pins. Uh, while the Arduino have total 28 pins and programmable are even less. Like I think 22 are programmable. Now, the next thing is the two VCC2 ground. The special feature of this VCC ground is that if you accidentally plug the PIC16 FA77A in an opposite way, like this dot comes here, still your microcontroller will not get burned because they are like aligned in such a way that it cannot get burned. See, if you even insert it opposite, still your microcontroller will not get burned. While this feature is not available in Arduino, STM32 and other microcontrollers. Now the next thing are the two oscillator pins. You don't have an internal oscillator. You always connect an external oscillator with this. Now we have total eight ADC pins. A0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So they are eight. So I was confused. So confirm eight. Now you have two PWM pins, C1 and C2. Then you have two I square C pins. Now look at these ports, C3 and C4. Then you have an SPI port, C4, 5, and C3. Then you have UART port. Now these are the ports ADC, PWM, I square C, SPI, UART. There is no other port other than these ports in a microcontroller required by other sensors and modules. Like you can connect any sensor and module found in the market with your PIC16 FA77A using these ports, especially the UART port is used the most nowadays. So that's why I prefer this microcontroller. It have everything that is needed for a microcontroller to run your sensors and modules. And moreover, unlike other microcontroller, it goes miles ahead, like it's a military standard. It is a very rugged microcontroller and it do not disappoint you in the toughest of environments. So if you are learning Arduino is good, but once you deploy it in the industry, you will get disappointed. So 
in the industrial application always go for the pic so guys this is why i prefer pic 16 f double seven a over over other microcontrollers you may object to some of my comments so if you have any objection please feel free to ask so we'll see you in the next video